Hello, I'm Melissa Click, and I'm here today to talk about one of my favorite books, Jewels of the Sun by Nora Roberts. This book takes place in Ireland, and it follows the story of a woman named Jude who is an American. Uh, she works as a college professor and decides one day that she's really unhappy with her life, and she quits her job and moves to Ireland for six months to see if she can figure out what she's really passionate about. And while she's there, she stays in a place called Fairy Hill Cottage. Um, and she learns from some of the local people that there is a ghost that haunts her cottage named Lady Gwen. Uh, she meets uh, three siblings, the Gallagher's, who own the local pub. And the oldest son, Aiden, is a avid storyteller and explains to her the story of Prince Carrick and Lady Gwen. See, Lady Gwen was a young maiden who lived with her father and took care of him until one night she met Prince Carrick, who is Prince of the Fairies, and fell in love with him. Uh, they, they courted, he took her on rides in his uh, magical horse and they've decided that they're going to get married and be together. Uh, however, before this happens, Gwen's father finds out and is afraid for his daughter and thinking that the fairy was up to mischief and instantly betrothes her to another man. Gwen ends up marrying this other man, having his children, and later dying alone. Um, throughout this journey she takes, he, um, Prince Carrick tries again and again to get her to follow him, and it never works. He gives her jewels of the sun, tears of the moon, uh, and the heart of the sea in the form of diamonds and pearls and sapphires. And each time he talks about passion and longing and constancy, but he never talks to her about love and how he truly feels for her. And it's this mistake that leads them to be apart. Uh, Prince Carrick having magic sets a spell that says if three couples can meet and overcome the obstacles that Carrick and Gwen had, that these two uh, people Prince Carrick and the ghost lady Gwen will be able to be reunited again. So this first story is the first hurdle that Prince Carrick and Lady Gwen have to go through. They have to rely on Jude, the American college professor, and Aidan Gallagher, the bartender from this town, to see if they can find a way to make their relationship work and if they can put their feelings uh, out on the table and conquer some of their obstacles and um, the book story continues with Jewels of the Sun where you meet the second Gallagher and the last one, A Heart of the Sea, where you meet the last Gallagher, Darcy. Um, and each one has a unique relationship obstacle and um, they're fab fabulous books. Um, they are funny, they are sad, I felt like I could relate to some of the struggles the characters had, I felt like there were parts of the story that were laugh out loud funny. Um, the best part about these books is um, they're overall positive and um, at the end of the day if you're looking for something that's uplifting I strongly encourage you to check these books out.